GigaNet Cold Cure Fiber Optic ST, SC and LC connectors are terminated using the GigaNet GN561140 termination kit or equivalent. The kit contains a glass working pad, a crimp tool, three grades of diamond polish film, a rubber working pad, Kevlar shears, wet and dry cleaning papers, polishing pucks for all three connector types, an alcohol container, a multi-purpose fibre stripper, two syringes and a carbide scribe. Here we'll be showing a GigaNet SC termination using jacketed fibre. The cold cure adhesive is Loctite 638 compound and the primer is Loctite 7649 activator. Slide the boot down the fibre small end first, followed by the crimping collar again small end first. Use a marker pen to mark a position on the fibre jacket 35mm from the end of the fibre. This represents the amount of jacket to be removed. To do this, use the largest notch in the blade of the fibre stripping tool. Next, twist the Kevlar into a tight pigtail, then mark and cut it 7mm from the stripped end of the jacket using the Kevlar shears. Make a mark on the fibre buffer 16mm from the jacket end. To strip the fibre buffer and coating, use the smallest notch in the stripping tool blade, making sure that it's completely free of dirt and debris before stripping the fibre. To avoid breaking the fibre, remove the buffer and coating in two or three sections, with the final stripping operation being from the 16mm mark. With a folded dry wipe or similar clean lint-free cloth, carefully wipe the fibre to remove any residual coating material. Lay the prepared fibre to one side. Remove the plunger from one of the syringes and pour in enough adhesive for the number of connectors being installed. Replace the plunger. Tip the syringe up and remove the cap from the needle. Place a cloth over the tip of the needle to avoid spillage, then push the plunger up to expel the air trapped in the syringe body. Insert the needle into the rear of the ferrule and gently push on the plunger until a small bead of the adhesive can be seen at the ferrule tip. Be careful not to allow any compound to run between the inner and outer sleeves at the rear of the connector as this may cause the ferrule to jam during operation. Spray the bare fibre with a short burst of the primer. It's advisable to place a cloth behind the fibre when spraying and to follow all the safety precautions printed on the can. Push the fibre into the rear of the ferrule all the way until the buffer reaches the back of the connector. This should be done quickly and smoothly to avoid the adhesive setting before the fibre is all the way home. Hold the fibre in position for at least 30 seconds to allow the compound to cure. Placing one of the bevelled edges of the scribe tool flat against the ferrule tip, carefully score the fibre close to the point where it emerges from the ferrule. Don't attempt to cut the fibre off at this stage as this may result in the glass cracking down inside the ferrule. Using a straight pull, remove the excess fibre and deposit it safely in a suitable sharps container. Slide the crimping collar back up the fibre and over the Kevlar so that it sits against the shoulder of the connector housing. Position the crimp tool over the large end of the crimping collar using the centre 0.19 inch hole in the crimp die. Close the crimp tool completely until the ratchet is defeated and the tool can be released. Repeat the process over the smaller end of the crimping collar using the 0.137 inch round hole in the crimp die. 
slide the boot back up the cable and over the entire crimping collar. Prepare for polishing the ferrule end by placing the glass plate on a firm, stable surface and laying the rubber polishing pad on top, with the dull side uppermost. Take a sheet of the grey polishing film and gently rub it against the ferrule tip in a circular motion. This air polish rounds off the broken fibre stub so that it doesn't shatter during the rest of the polishing process. Place a single drop of deionized water onto the surface of the polishing pad. This will help hold the lavender coloured polishing paper in place ready for the next stage. Add another drop of deionized water onto the polishing paper. Clean the face of the SC polishing puck using one of the wet cleaning pads supplied with the fibre kit or a clean lint-free cloth moistened with isopropyl alcohol. Fit the connector ferrule into the hole of the SC polishing puck, then hold the assembly against the polishing film. Without exerting excess pressure, start polishing the ferrule tip using a figure of eight motion. Continue for 20 to 30 rotations. Remove the ferrule from the polishing puck and clean the residue from the ferrule tip and the face of the puck using a wet wipe from the pack provided or a clean lint-free cloth moistened with isopropyl alcohol. Check the ferrule end at this stage using a GigaNet fiber optic microscope. Some fine scratches may be visible. These should disappear with additional polishing, but if the fiber is chipped or cracked, there's no point continuing. The connector should be cut off and a new one fitted. Put the connector back into the polishing puck and repeat the process using the white polishing film. ST and LC connectors are terminated in the same manner using the appropriate polishing puck. Clean the ferrule tip with a wet wipe or alcohol soaked cloth and inspect the polish end again with a microscope. If satisfied with the result, fit the connector into its casing. If a duplex connector is being used, repeat the termination process on the second fibre, then fit the duplexing clip to the two completed connectors. Replace the protective caps on the ferrule tips and keep them there until the connector is used. GigaNet fibre connectors are fully compatible with a GigaNet range of enclosures and adapters. and are eligible for the GigaNet 25-year warranty program. For further details of this and the full GigaNet product range, visit www.giga-net.co.uk.